Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new exciting video. My name is Greg and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do Jay O'Reilly's brand new text tracking blowing effect that he used in one of his recent videos. If you guys are new to the channel please consider subscribing, smash the like button if you enjoy the video and if you guys want any tutorials please request them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as possible. So you're going to open up Premiere Pro and once you've got your clip in the timeline that you'd like to track the text to, you're going to right click on it and click replace with After Effects composition. Okay guys, once After Effects has loaded with your clip, um, you're all good to go. So firstly what we need to do is select the text tool or click Ctrl T on our keyboard. We're going to draw a tech, uh, text box and for this um, video I'm going to call it JR Ali. Uh, and what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to center it in the text box and I want to align it in the center of the screen. Uh, if you don't see any align things down on the right column here, you can go to window and click align and then it should be there. I'm going to align it vertically and horizontally so it's directly in the center. I like the fact that it's got an orange color because that goes nicely with the sunset. Now, in order to get the glow effect for uh, J.R. Ali's text, we are going to have to add a preset, uh, an effect. Uh, and this effect is called Glow and you should find it under Stylize. We're going to drag that effect onto your clip, uh, go to the Effects Controls Panels and now there are only four things we're going to need to change here. Starting off with uh, uh, the Glow based on and we're going to have to change that to Alpha Channel. Now another thing we're going to have to do is change the Glow Radius to 300 and the glow intensity to about 2.5. Now you won't see any glow because we haven't selected the colors of the glow. Now you're gonna have two colors. I'm gonna choose the two yellows at the sun here because I think it goes very nicely with the orange and the fact that there's a sunset. Now you should see a little glow around your text once you've chosen your colors and that is basically how he got the glow. Now to track it, we're going to have to go down to our um, Video, right click, hit pre-compose, uh, move all attributes into new composition and hit OK. Now on that pre-comp we're going to click, we're going to right click, go up to track and stabilize and select track camera. So guys, once the camera tracker is finished, you're going to have a whole lot of little tracking points all over your screen. Basically After Effects has gone into your video and found points in the video that it is able to track. Now we're going to, I want to track the motorcyclist for uh, this video. Um, so I'm going to try and find some tracking points on him and they've actually done a really good job here and there's one straight in the center. So I'm going to right click on it and click create solid and camera. Now you should see this big uh, colored block on your video. Don't worry about that. We're going to deal with that now. Now you should see a little um, a layer called track solid one. You're going to right click on that, hit pre-compose. And now this is very important. You must select, le select leave all attributes in composition and hit OK. Now what we're going to need to do is go down to your text layer, hit Control C to copy, delete it, go into your track uh, solid and paste it. Now what we can do is we can turn off our solid by kicking the little eye in the left corner here and we can center our text in the middle of the screen. Once you've aligned your text in the center, go back to your main composition. Now our text is off the screen and it is very large so what I am going to do is I am going to scale this down a bit to about that big. I'm going to scrub forward a little bit more in the video so I can see where the motorcyclist is fully in the screen and I don't want the text to be directly on him, I want it to be trailing behind him so I'm just going to move the text to behind him like that. And if your text is not uh, straight and it's quite warped, all you need to do is hit R on your keyboard and you'll get uh, your X, Y and Z rotations. Now I'm going to adjust the X rotation to get a little bit more flat and the Y rotation to get it aligned with the screen. Now what you will notice is that the, uh, motor the text is going directly behind the motorbike. Even when he jumps it follows him. Um, now another thing I have noticed with this effect is that once you've pre-composed it, it does lose a little bit of its glow. So we're going to go back into effects and presets and grab the glow preset and drop it on that composition. Now the glow should be back. You guys can play around with this and um, take away the glow, make it a little bit less, change the colors. But this is all I'm going to do for this one. So let's export it and watch our work. <laughs> 
Whoa guys, that was a seriously awesome effect. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want any new tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.